Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the one tip that completely changed my renders forever. And it's not anything complex, not anything crazy. It's actually very simple and you can implement it today. And before we get started, I want to mention that our Black Friday sale is live on our website. There's a link in the top of the description. It is 30% off everything. This is the lowest our products will ever go. So if you want to pick anything up, get it now. It ends next week. We have big bundles here, 30% off. We have a massive bundle, which is 50% off. That's the best value there. Um, we have our top seller courses, all 30% off. And also our new coaching community program is 30% off forever. So if you subscribe now, every single month thereafter will stay at 30% off. That's going to be a really awesome deal as well. So Take a look at that. There's a ton of cool products in here to help you get up to speed with Blender and improve your artwork. Link in the description. Anyways, let's get started with the video. So most likely, we all do it. No one's perfect. Most likely, you're going to have distracting elements somewhere in your render. Now, what do I mean by this? In this example right here, a render I made a few months ago, take a look at these very minor yet distracting spectacles we have going on here. So I have this really small yet distracting element right here. See this little thing? I don't know what that is right there. We have the same type of thing up here, little distracting element, and then two little white dots here, and perhaps maybe this little thing right here. Now, it might not seem severe just looking at it as it is, but watch what happens when I remove those elements. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this layer. Look how much better the image looks. I know it's subtle, but if you do this and you find distracting elements and you remove them, your image is going to look a lot better and pull all your attention to the focal point of the image, in this case, the face. Once again, here's the difference. Here's the before. Here's the after. See it? Notice that by just removing those really small spots that are distracting, your image just kind of feels more complete and more attention you know, gets focused onto the main point of the image. Let's go ahead and do another example here. This ship, let me zoom out. Okay, so here's a ship I have right here. Now you might not notice it you know, from the get-go, but if you really look at the image, you are most likely gonna find some sort of distracting element that doesn't need to be there. In this case, you're gonna see this really long, let me grab a brush here, and add a new layer. This really long, like, um, I don't even know what this is, like this thing right here. And then also this thing all the way across here, like this little, you know, tannish highlight of a hill or something. Watch how much better it looks once I actually remove that detail. So here we go. We'll turn this, uh, this layer on. See the difference? It's, it's a very intuitive feeling. Everything just feels a lot more clean and balanced when you remove these random arbitrary details that don't really need to be there. See the difference? Let's do one more example. This one is probably super obvious. Looking at this piece, if we zoom out a little bit, what is the most distracting element on this piece? What kind of pops out to you immediately? Well, you're probably going to say one of two things. You're either going to say it's this radiation symbol or it's this really weird highlight right here. In this case, the radiation symbol is actually okay because it's part of the model and brings attention where we actually want the attention. But this right here is a very unnecessary distraction. So what did I do? I just removed it. Look how much better the image looks just by removing that bright distracting element. Now this tip is not meant to make your image look, you know, 100% better. It's probably going to make the image look like 10 to 15% better. It's not anything heavy, but it is so easy to do and is going to really make your image look a lot more clean and balanced and bring more focus into what actually matters. So it's a really easy tip. It's, you know, something you can implement today. It doesn't take any sort of learning, really. Go into your image, look for these really annoying, bright, distracting spots on your image and simply remove them. You can use Photoshop, you can use Affinity Photo, GIMP even, which is free. You can use pretty much any software. And just by removing these spots, it's gonna look so much better and your renders are just gonna look a lot more professional. 
So this is going to really help your renders out, guys. Make sure you start implementing this into your work. You'd be surprised at the amount of change it can make. So thanks for watching. Like I said, Black Friday sale, 30% off on our website until Tuesday. So make sure you take advantage of that. And until the next video, I'll see you then.